Hello and welcome. I want this thing, this MIDI controller, with its sliders and its knobs and its buttons, I want this thing to control that thing. To be exact, I want uh, this slider to control this slider. For example, for the phase knob, we can easily map it. We can just right-click it and then go to link to controller and then I just move this and it automatically is mapped. I move this and it moves automatically. Move, 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 move. But these sliders we cannot right-click, they cannot be mapped. This is just how this instrument, the Citrus, was programmed, because it would cause audio glitches and they didn't want that. Alright, so here we have an external VST that's not internal to FL Studio. And uh, we're gonna try to change something here, of course we cannot right-click, so let's uh, try to figure this out. Alright, let's start with something fun like the pitch shift. So let's just play around with it, and then we go to Tools, Last Tweaked, and Link to Controller. And here I'm gonna just move whatever I want to assign to it. And as you can see, this knob is moving the knob in Synth 1. And if you really want to have an overview, you can also go to this menu. And then just go to Browse Parameters. And here you have a list of all the MIDI mappable controls. If you click and change this, for example, it jumps. This is Equalizer Tone. You can also control it here. And now we can go again to, actually we can just right click here and link to controller. And speaking of sliders, let's just, uh, yeah, assign this one to a slider. Because knobs don't have to be knobs and stuff. And even buttons can be used for knobs. Here, let's assign this one. Tools, last tweaked. And link to controller and we're just going to use this button. Of course, it's between 0 and 100%, so it's not that interesting, but sometimes it might be. It might be interesting. Let's also map Tempo Delay on Off. So we're gonna go to Tools, Last Tweaked, Link to Controller. I'm gonna assign it to this. Instead of Input, let's set it to Switch. We're gonna press a button. Oh. Okay, to map this easier, let's go to Options, MIDI Settings, and disable Auto Accept Detected Controller. And uh, now again, we're gonna go to Tools, Last Tweaked, and Link to Controller. I guess I'm gonna go for Inverted. Let's do Latch. There we go. Now we can turn it on and off. Alright, so now we can turn these on and off. I will see you in the next video. Until then. Ciao.